It's so sweet and gooey. Hi, I'm Ryan and my life is average. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I used to try a lot of things on this channel, whether it was as seen on TV products or just weird food, spicy things. I'm a very interesting guy to say the least. And there are certain foods that I like and there are certain foods I dislike. I don't eat the foods on here that I like because I don't think that would be as entertaining to you as it would the foods that I dislike. And today we have something that I strongly dislike. So I will get to a quick backstory and then I will sit down and I will do this and you hopefully will enjoy my misery. So growing up, anytime I was sick or had a sore throat, which was a lot, I used to get strep throat a lot, my mom would give me honey. So as a kid, when I was younger, I always associated honey with being sick or bad things. I hated how like thick it was when it went down your throat. She said, uh, I, I just, I didn't like the, the, the texture and the way it tasted. And it was just always associated with me being sick or me not feeling well. So now, since I've grown up, I've never liked honey. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it smells. It feels, uh, it's gooey. And it's, it, to me, I don't like sticky foods uh, like that. It grosses me out. And of course, there's been a trend on YouTube of people trying raw honeycomb. And when I saw that, I was terrified. And then I figured, you know what? For the sake of my viewers, they would probably enjoy seeing me crumble to just honey. Something that comes out of a bee, a bee's ass. I don't know where it comes out of. Their mouth? Is it their ass? I don't know. So I went ahead and ordered $20 worth of pure bee honeycomb. I never in my life thought I would spend $20 on honey, let alone any dollars on honey. So I don't know anything about raw honeycomb. It's really messy looking and leaking. I don't know if there's certain parts of it I'm not supposed to eat. I don't know. I watched some people eat it. They either loved it or hate it, but they aren't me. And they don't act like I am because I am awful with things. And I'm not as bad as some of those people on the shows where like if they see a pickle, they pass out. Like I can look at this and I'm okay, but I haven't had honey in probably four or five years at least. And I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't plan this, okay? Most people would try some before they did it. Uh, you know, maybe before they film. I just kind of go right into it. Just balls deep, just go at it, give you the natural reaction. I also hate when my hands are sticky. So you're gonna see a lot of me acting like a crab and just freaking out and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So I'm gonna switch the camera to me sitting down at a little tray table so you can get a little bit overview of what I'm doing. And I don't like this at all. Oh crap, okay. All right, so here it is. It's from Zyad brand. Um, there are bees all over the honey, honeycomb itself on the picture. So I don't know if the bees are trying to get at it again. Maybe they're happy with what they made. Good news is it doesn't expire till next year. So we can make a part two with this. Okay. I don't know if I need a knife. Do I need a knife? I need a knife. Uh, there's like little, uh, you don't know if you can see it, but like tan thing film over top of each little honeycomb. I hope that's not like bee jizz or like bee poop. So I'm gonna get, let me touch it. Whoa, it's hard. Oh God, I should have researched this. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat the wax. This certainly doesn't look like the honeycomb cereal that I've been used to. That, that's banging, okay? This always reminds me of that like viral Twitter or Instagram video where the kid's running around. She's like, what do you have? And the kid's running by a point and goes, a knife! And she goes, a knife! Well, we got a knife. My dog is next to me and he is very curious about the honey. Let me smell the honey. Even he doesn't want to eat it. Oh, it's like cutting a damn steak. This is a nightmare. What is this? Oh my God. I have a fear of things with small holes. Me and Ethan always talk about it where we just hate things with little holes in it. I don't know if that's just pure sugar or wax, but the knife, oh sh oh. This is like five-year-old Ryan's nightmare. Like if there was a nightmare in life, it would be that all my Pokemon cards were stolen and that my mom would give me raw honeycomb. And now I'm paying to do it on video. And that is where my life has ended up. Oh, I got a noise. Oh. Okay, so there's definitely wax. 
It's like I'm eating one of those damn Coke bottles with the little Coke flavoring in them. I got a little burst of honey there and I got a little gag in me. I'm gonna do my best not to gag. I don't wanna make anybody throw up here, okay? I don't wanna end up on TLC. I'm gonna have all these producers saying, Ryan, we saw that you're out of your mind and you can't eat honey. Why don't you come on TLC, our show called People Are Fucking Out of Their Minds, and we're gonna just dump honey all over your body when you least expect it. Oh god, what? Oh fuck, it's all. Isn't it? <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> oh my god, what's happening to my throat? Oh, it's awful. It's like sticking to my throat. My mom used to give me this so my throat wouldn't hurt. And now my throat hurts because of it. This is only the edge of the honeycomb. Well, there's not as much honey in it. And it just, it's like a damn gushers. It just exploded in my throat. The, the, I can't speak, the feeling of it, the, the sliminess of it, and how, how, how it's coating my throat. Oh my God, that was just one bite. My goal was to eat all of this, but there's no way. Even my, my dog just ran in the other room. He was like, nope. He he licks his own turds and he doesn't even want to do this. I'm gonna try to do this without gagging. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Oh my, I don't know if you can see it, it just dripped. Mm. It's so sweet and gooey. Like, <clears throat> well, it like, I don't know if it's, <coughs> <coughs> I, wow, I can speak now. I don't know if it's the sugar or that my body's not used to it, <coughs> but like it is messing my throat up. I can barely, I can barely talk. It hurts. It like chokes me. I think it's in my, I'm, 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 I'm like choking myself. Yeah, there's no, <clears throat> there's no way I, <clears throat> I just can't, I can't, I should do Morse code. I can't speak with, all right. There's no way I'm getting this whole thing done. There's just no way. It's not the first for me, since it's about the texture and the taste, the first, like the honey is sweet at first, but once I feel the texture of it and like the gooiness of it, and it hits the back of my, my throat, Every, just go, all bets go off in my throat. I just start like gagging and choking and coughing, which is ridiculous because I know I look insane. I'm aware of this. My dog's in there drinking water to support me, which I appreciate. I'm gonna be honest, I knew I wouldn't like this, but I thought it would taste, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be crunchy, uh, like candy, almost like a can, I thought it was gonna taste not like a Butterfinger, but the con consistency of a Butterfinger where it's kind of crunchy. But this is just such a bizarre combo of wax that's chewy. And then the honey, it just, it, it literally like it pops and it just goes right there. And it catches me off guard. What is this? What are, how do bees do this? I know nothing about this stuff. Do bees make the wax themselves too? How do bees asses do this? You imagine if humans did this? <laughs> we were hungry, we were just like, ah oh, man. Well, I guess I can just shit out some honeycomb. I don't know. It's not bad until I pull it. Oh. Oh. No! No! Oh my god. I think I almost passed out there. I couldn't even speak. There was so much honey in my mouth at one time. I can't do it. That was the worst thing in the world. Goddamn volcano, Mount St. Honeycomb, just erupted in my mouth.
Yeah, I can't, I can't do anymore. That's so disgusting. My stomach hurts, my throat, I don't know. Man, I'm a very bizarre human being. I talked to a girl a couple weeks ago that said she was afraid of pencils, which is interesting, but at least they're sharp and can hurt you. Honey can't hurt you, but listen, if you're listening to this video, you're afraid of pencils, I'm afraid of honeycombs. Okay, well, that's it. If you're new here, subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed my misery. Uh, comment down below some other things that I should try. I think I saw a video, no I did, I saw a video about aloe, aloe or aloe <clears throat> vera plants that people cut and eat. That looked awful because it's the same consistency. I don't know where I would get that. Is that something that you'd want to see? Sorry, I'm disgusting right now. Or are there any other random things you've been seeing um, people have been eating or going around that you'd want me to chew on or eat? If so, comment down below. I guess the stickier, the gooier, the better because you're gonna get me uh, trying not to vomit for eight minutes. That could be the title of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry bees, if you're watching, which is probably not possible because you're a bee, but sorry to the bees. So believe me when I tell you, I'm not doing this again, okay? You better be quiet. If you want me to do it again, I'm not going to. B calls like okay I can't I've got too many puns I'll see you guys next week uh so uh, hey average. Yeah!